Before installing any accessories, ensure the vehicle is parked on a flat level surface. Also ensure the vehicle is in park, set the parking brake, and remove the key. To install the front bumper on your Sportsman 450 or 570, follow these steps. Begin by pulling out the two push rivets securing the front trim panel. Then tilt the cover out and remove from the vehicle. Continue by pressing down on the tab, securing the radiator access panel, and remove the panel. Next, lay the bumper on its front side, and align the holes on the front of the mounting bracket with the back of the bumper. Then, insert the carriage bolts through the back of the bracket and into the bumper, and loosely install the provided nuts. Next, align the assembly to the front of the vehicle while sliding the bracket into the bottom mounting location. Then, align the holes and install the two fasteners from the front side of the bumper into the support bracket. Continue by installing the nuts on the back side without fully tightening at this time. Next, install the four fasteners from the outside of the bracket to secure it to the frame. Once the bracket is secured, counter hold the upper front fasteners and torque to specification. Then counter hold the lower front fasteners and torque to specification. Continue by torquing the bumper mounting fasteners to specification on each side. Finally, reinstall the radiator access panel by aligning the bottom tabs, pressing in on the top to engage the latch. To install the Pro HD winch on your Sportsman 450 or 570, follow these steps. Begin by releasing the rubber latch on both sides and opening the front rack. Next, remove the nut from the black negative battery cable and disconnect the cable. Next, pull out the two push rivets securing the winch cover. Then, pull the cover away and set aside. Next, remove and retain the two upper bolts from the lower front bumper cover. Then, remove and retain the two lower bolts from the cover. Once the fasteners are removed, pull the cover and radiator screen out together and set aside. Moving to the winch, ensure the wire routing and connections are correct and adjust if needed. Continue by ensuring the cable ties are fully tightened as well. Next, rest the red and black wires on top of the winch and move the winch onto the radiator mount. Then, ensure all wires are free to move and are not pinched between the vehicle chassis and winch assembly. Continue by installing the two bottom fasteners from the outside of the mount into each side to secure the winch. Installing the lower fasteners first will aid in aligning the upper fasteners. On models with strut front suspension, use the front set of holes for mounting the winch. 
Then, install the top fasteners on each side. Once the mount fasteners are installed, torque the fasteners to specification. Next, run the red and black harness up the vehicle frame behind the radiator and through the opening in the body panel on the negative side of the battery. Then, attach the harness to the hole in the frame about halfway between the winch and body panel using the double cable tie attached to the harness. Continue to clip the harness to the hole next to the opening in the body panel. Next, place the control box with the longer wires in the upper position on the right-hand side of the vehicle behind the radiator. Then, use a cable tie to secure it to the winch harness that goes up to the battery. Next, route the longest white female control box connector behind the radiator hose and connect it to the auto stop fair lead. Continue by connecting the white male connector to the Y harness. Then, connect the white female connector to the contactor. Next, run the power wires for the box up through the opening in the body panel near the battery area. Then, connect the orange wire to the orange wire on the vehicle's main harness. Next, place the wireless remote box onto the cab support bracket. Then, secure the box by inserting cable ties through the mounting holes and looping around the bracket. Then, bundle the cables and attach them to the chassis support with a cable tie. Continue by connecting the white electrical connector to the Y harness. If necessary, cut the cable tie securing the main wire harness connector. Then, remove the harness cap. Then, Move the wires behind the radiator and connect the Y harness to the main harness. Next, run the wires for the box up through the opening in the body panel near the battery area. Then, connect the orange wire to the orange wire on the vehicle's main harness. Next, Route the wires of the winch controls through the notch in the mount. Then, place the front and rear mounts on the handlebar in the area between the main controls and brake mount. Then, secure in place with the two provided fasteners. Once secure, ensure the notch on the mount is sitting above the brake mount. Then, torque the fasteners to specification. Continue by removing the cap on the main harness under the handlebar. Then, connect the switch connector to the harness. Next, select an area for the wireless winch remote and verify no items are at risk of damage from the mounting screws. Then, align the control mount and drill two screws into the holder and through the desired panel to secure. Next, ensure there are no exposed wires or terminals and secure all loose wires away from moving parts and heat sources. Next, install the positive battery bolt through the winch wire and connect all positive wires to the positive battery terminal. Reinstall the nut and torque to specification. Then, install the negative battery bolt through the winch wire 
and connect all black negative wires to the negative battery terminal. Reinstall the nut and torque the fastener to specification. Next, close the front rack and attach the two rubber latches. Continue by routing the winch through the bumper cover and firmly press the bumper into place. Then, install the upper fasteners and lower fasteners. Torque the lower fasteners until fully seated and the upper fasteners to specification. If installing a front bumper, loosen the four fasteners holding the winch mounting bracket to the frame. This will aid in fastener alignment. Then, install the bottom fasteners from inside the winch mount. Continue by aligning the front bumper to the winch. Then, install the upper fasteners through the front of the bumper and install the nuts. Once the bumper is secured, counterhold the upper fasteners and torque to specification. Then, counterhold the lower front fasteners and torque to specification. Continue by torquing the winch mounting fasteners to specification on each side. Next, reinstall the radiator access panel by aligning the bottom tabs, pressing in on the top to engage the latch. Before continuing, turn the vehicle key on and test the winch for proper operation. Also, verify that the auto stop feature is functioning properly with the hand controls and the winch remote. The winch should not allow the rope to be reeled in once the puck has come within a close proximity or made contact with the fair lead. To install the rear bumper on your Sportsman 450 or 570, follow these steps. Begin by sliding the bumper weld mounts into the upper frame tubes with the fasteners facing inwards. Next, mount the bumper into place and align the mounting holes. Then, install the upper bumper fasteners from the outside without fully tightening. Next, slide the bumper weld mounts against the inside top of the hitch plate, fastener side down. Then, install the fasteners from the top to secure the bottom of the bumper. Finally, torque all fasteners to specification. To install the body armor kit on your Sportsman 450 or 570, follow these steps. Begin by counter holding and removing the outermost nut underneath the rear rack tube support. Next, counter hold the nuts under the foot well and remove and discard the fasteners. Then, align the bracket mount with the holes on the underside of the footwell and loosely install the fasteners at the front of the footwell. Then, slide the rear guard weld into the bracket mount. Continue by aligning the bracket on the guard weld with the rear rack tube assembly and loosely install the previously removed nut. Then, Insert the two rear footwell tube fasteners from the outside in and loosely install the nuts. 
Next, loosely install the two rear footwell screws and nuts. Then, slide the front guard weld into the bracket mount. Once the guard is in place, loosely install the front footwell tube fasteners and nuts. Next, align the front guard weld with the bumper and install the bumper screw through the front bumper and into the front weld. Next, torque the footwell mounting bracket fasteners to specification. Then, torque the bumper socket head screw to specification. Continue by torquing the rear rack tube support nut. And finally, torque the footwell tube fasteners to specification. Once complete, Repeat this entire process on the other side of the vehicle. For more information, see your authorized Polaris dealer or visit Polaris.com.